This is the TKD Part 1 75, a top mount 75% board that ClickLack is planning to stock in batches. This was sent to me to review by ClickLack, so feel free to be skeptical of any good things I say, but let's talk about it. The designer for TKD and Vertex has said they are done with the psycho design and therefore the name, as they don't want to be stuck within the design language of the psycho boards. And so now we have the Part 1 75 a name inspired by the Kikult and Rama naming schemes. The part one is in stock for $238, including shipping on ClickLack. You can think of this as a $200 board with $38 shipping because they're using DHL Express. They plan on stocking these boards in batches, so if you mess up by the time they sell out, they will eventually be coming back. So with the kit, you basically get everything but switches and caps. The C3 stabs they include work fine for me, and I didn't have to balance the wires, though you should always check your wires before putting them in, of course. While it's great to see more in-stock options, it does feel like we're missing some things with this release. The aluminum plate is included with the kit, but you cannot substitute it for another plate material. You have to pay extra to get another plate. With the hot swap PCB, you are stuck with a 6.25U bottom row and no split backspace, which seems odd seeing how the mode sauna has a hot swap PCB that supports both 7U and 6.25U spacebars. Like usual though, the solder PCB has more options. You are locked into the colors and material configurations based on the top case color you choose, so you can't choose your bottom case color, the external weight, or the badge on the bottom. Peacock, Arcane, Fuji, and Burgundy don't have matching bottom cases. For the bottom weight, you get brass, mirror polished stainless steel, or PVD stainless steel based on the color you choose. There are five possible brass badge colors, all with their own unique patina, which may or may not vary a lot from the photos they've given. Also, it doesn't come with foam. I'm sure TKD has their reasons for all of these, as it feels like you should at least be able to pick the plate you get, but maybe these may or may not be deal breakers for you. If they are, let me know in the comments. So now, let's move on to the board itself. This is a top mount board, so naturally, it is a bit stiffer than your average gasket mounted board. I'm usually not a fan of stiffer typing feels. I'm so used to typing with gasket mounted boards and flex cut boards way back in 2022, but the aluminum plate didn't feel that bad for me. You can see it has a little bit of give here when I press on it. The PC plate felt slightly softer, of course, and is my preferred plate. With a 17mm front height, it feels a little shorter than what I'm used to, but a 7.5 degree typing angle feels pretty normal to me. This is a hefty board, weighing in at 2.4 kilos built. And speaking of weight, this board has 3 weights in it, or 4 if you include the big brass cover. Take that off and you'll find the 2 stainless steel weights underneath, and the screws for the external bottom weight. On the flip side of the weights, there is a PE foam-like sticker on them. I don't know if this was for the sake of assembly, to avoid scratching the inside of the case when putting it together, or if it offers some kind of force break or vibration reduction between the weights in the case. Extra weights inside a board can help dampen vibrations, and therefore, resonance in a board. It's not always the case, like replacing the aluminum weight in my mode Sonnet V1 with a copper weight didn't remove a lot of resonance at all. But with the Part 1, there's very little resonance at all from what I can hear. I did do a force break anyway, mostly because my mic tends to pick up more resonance than I can actually hear, but I personally didn't feel the need to do it other than for the sake of doing sound tests. The board is on the clackier side compared to gasket boards, as you don't have gaskets dampening the sound. I would recommend the PC plate if you want to round out the sound a little bit more to be less sharp, or maybe finding your own foam to use in the board. The design is really nice, though it does look a little simple at first glance, but I like the small details all around. There's a small chamfer on every edge, and these sides are slightly angled inwards. Typically, I like boards with curves in them, and at this price point, boards usually have some kind of curved facet on them. But this takes a somewhat opposite approach, and kind of plays with a bunch of straight lines all around the board, with no curved edges. It is a little different, but I like it. $238 with DHL Express. It is in stock and ships within a week. Top mount sound and feel, with hefty materials and an intricate design. And... I think it's a good price, especially if you're looking to try a top mount board, as I feel like there aren't that many top mount boards in general compared to the amount of gasket boards. Thanks for watching, here are the sound tests.